Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is another episode of Thrill of the Haunt, and we're playing Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. In the last episode of this, we were investigating the Polk Street residence, and it uh, we they had a poltergeist in their garage, which we informed them about. And we're going to go ahead and jump on in and see what other kind of shenanigans they have going on at their residence. So, um, you know, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me grow the channel and help hopefully help to track more viewers such as yourself. And uh, it'll also inform you anytime I drop new content, which is fairly re frequently. So, uh, yeah, if you if you don't mind, go ahead and do that. That'd be great. But let's go ahead and check out the map and see what we have going on. I received a call from this client the other day. They stated that all of a sudden while sitting in their living room, they started to hear a woman cry. They thought momentarily that this was coming from the TV. As they muted the TV, the crying persisted. Being stunned, they tried to decipher where it was coming from. To their astonishment, it appeared to be adjacent to them. After this first occurrence, they have heard other voices whispering things illegibly, as well as hearing the crying again. They stated that the noises have been heard in the living room, the bathroom, and in their bedroom. Both parents have stated they have observed, on separate occasions, what they thought was an object moving through their peripheral vision. They probably would have never given it much thought, but with the other activity they've witnessed, they now believe this is an entity. They just haven't been lucky enough to fully view it. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Right, let's try to find some evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Right, this is the living room. The bathroom? Bedroom. They have a bathroom as well. Closet. Is this the bathroom? That is a closet as well. That's the bathroom? Mm, those are pretty far apart from each other. So we can close the front. Bedroom. Bathroom. Kitchen. Is that the basement? Is there a basement in this house? Carpet is a little dirty. Sitting here, hanging out. TV, mostly crying. No temperature drops at all just yet. Okay, so I think the AC just came on. It is blowing cold air. Also a cold spot here. We got a cool clock. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. No, sir.
No temperature drops that are too crazy. Here we go. And it is dropping the temperatures. Question is where to go? Yeah. Oh God. Wow. I took a photo of a ghost. Oh, that scared me. It's like we got a shadow figure. Oh, please don't do that again. God. Oh, you're horrifying. Why are you like this? Light in here. Somehow turning on these lights without being near them. If by ghost magic. The fun that there is. It's like hanging. Temperature readings on this ghost are really hard to hit. Wait, is that just... What? Is there a vent over here? I'm missing? Seems like it's going slow, I would assume. 
There's an air van. I know there's this one here, but I already know that that's not... That's weird. Over here. Okay. I guess we're just gonna get stuck with this not real reading. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. I should close this door. I back out. Just... Oh god. So. Give me some temperature readings that don't involve me having to find you. Right here. Right? Temperature reading. Go. They haven't seen the entity in their own home, but I have been seeing it like this whole time. So I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Over here, okay. Maybe we can try some EMF. Maybe it's two, two, three. Every time. Maybe I should just leave the lights on. The ghost turns them on. Clearly, hmm, these temps are unusual. I see you. Oh, now it's gonna give me the temperature fluctuation. It's every time the AC turns on. It's spot the as well. Does it really have to do like every single temperature grate before it kind of eliminates these as the readings that can I I can hit? Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Why do we keep taking them, sir? All right. 
Let's see. Yep. Light on over here. Hmm. Oh, now. Something's yes. going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Oh god. It's a lot of events all at once. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Let me get out. I haven't even tried for EVPs yet. Or. I'll keep that as audio evidence. I don't even know what that was, like a scratching? Okay, well if you're gonna turn it on, how are you not here? These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating.
you go. BMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Let's try some EV. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Whether it's not EVP or it's not getting it. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Hmm. I want to make sure that I get all the audio evidence I can. It's, it's like more, you have to get more than three. A guarantee. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. I think that we have everything we need here. Go ahead and see if we got a old, old trophy. Nice. Yes. It's the one that I wasn't sure about was audio. Got it. Excellent. We did it. All right. That ghost was called the Grieving Shadow. Let's just double check that real quick. Take a look at the location here. Yeah, the Grieving Shadow. Okay, so we had Ghost in the Garage and Grieving Shadow at this location. It's perfect. All right. Well, I do hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks for staying tuned through all of these videos. Uh, there are certainly going to be more in the future, so stay tuned for those. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so, so that you can stay in the loop whenever I drop some new content. So, that I said, let's go ahead and end it here. Have a great day, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See you later.